Hey everybody, uh, it's me Kellen and this is another episode of Sense of South Jersey and of course we're going to do another fragrance review. <clears throat> I'm going I'm to do something a little different today. I'm going to do, uh, I wouldn't technically call it a first impression, but um, maybe like a second or second and a half impression of a fragrance that I got and it uh, it's summertime here in South Jersey, but it definitely is not a summer fragrance and definitely nothing I would ever wear in the warm weather, but it smells amazing. Um, this is something that it was a total blind buy. I was just like, ah, I've seen it around. I thought the bottle looked cool. I'm big on presentation as everybody knows who watches my videos. And I thought like, okay, I want to check this particular fragrance out. So released in 1980 by the house of Giacomo. This is Giacomo de Giacomo. <laughs> Um, so of course we'll take a look at presentation. We'll talk about the notes. Um, there's a lot of notes. This is a complex fragrance, although I only get a few of them, but anyway, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, we'll talk about the performance. I'll give it my thoughts when and where and how to wear it. Um, what I like best about it, what I like least about it. And of course the overall rating. So we'll just get right into it here. This presentation is very simple. Um, we'll take a look at the front of the box here. Giacomo de Giacomo there, you can see the reflection. Sorry about that guys, eau de toilette at the bottom and uh, natural spray, Giacomo. It's 100 ml, so 3.4 ounces. On the sides, you got nothing. On the back, you got Giacomo and some brand information. Um, looks like maybe made in Paris, the distributed in New York, not 100% sure. They have their own website, Giacomo.com. Um, on the top, pretty cool top. I actually like that, the, the, the J symbol, just um, you know, overall that makes that symbol, but it looks like that's the J because it's the same style um, of, of font that you see on the box there. And on the back, again, nothing going on. On the bottom, you got some brand information, serial number, and you know, ingredient, and of course, let's see the recycle. And 80% alcohol by volume, as they say. So, um, okay, we'll take a look at here. Now, the bottle with this one is really cool. So the bottle is um, like nothing I've ever seen before. So it opens up this way. It actually has little instructions here and here on how to open it, but it's very simple. So I'll show you here in a moment. Now, box you can see inside. Here's the bottle. Simple, black, thinner here, gets wider at the bottom. It's almost like a Zippo lighter, and it says Giacomo to Giacomo here. So you press this button here and pops up. <laughs> I thought that was cool, the top of it there. Let's take a look here. It says Giacomo, as you can see. Whoops, there we go. Um, and it says Paris on there as well. Nothing on the back. It's almost like a matte black finish, which I think is pretty cool. And on the bottom, you got a little sticker. They didn't do the embossed lettering um, like many of the fragrances I like to. But this is pretty This is pretty nice. Actually, it doesn't hold that well, so you gotta kinda pull this little button out for it to stick, and then it'll stick. But it's like a Zippo lighter that you just press that button. Um, silver atomizer, that matte, matte black, that like kinda matte gray finish and this silver top here. Um, and then it's a heavy duty bottle. I don't think it's as thick a glass as some of the other fragrances, but it feels that way, but I still feel like it might not be. Um, silver atomizer here, let's take a look at the distribution. I'm gonna spray it now. So it's decent, comes out kind of like a spurt. And um, <laughs> this fragrance, is like nothing I've ever smelled before in my life here. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know, price point wise, it's not expensive, but performance and quality in terms of, you know, how it performs and the depth of the scent is, is really nice. So there's a ton of notes. I listed just a few of them. Um, you know, you got basil, you got lavender, clove is huge in here, patchouli, cypress, cedar. There were written notes, and I looked it up on Forganica just to make sure, and it was citrus and, you know, fruits, like grapefruit, and I don't detect a single one of those in the scent. To me, this scent is smoky. It's tobacco, clove for sure. Um, definitely some cypress, maybe a little cedar wood, maybe some sandalwood. I didn't really get uh, the sand sandalwood's not listed is what I meant to say, but um, I get that at the dry down. Um, Performance-wise, it's insane. It, you know, I would say maximum sprays, maximum is four sprays, and it'll last you 12 hours. Um, I really thought it, it, it performed very well. Uh, the first quarter is in, unbelievably strong. It, you know, definitely would fill half a room, the whole room. Um, the sillage is incredible. People will smell it. Um, it's a very, very, very masculine fragrance. Um, the tobacco, the smokiness, it just smells like a leather, a cigar. Um, it's definitely a fragrance that is, uh, 
for not for the faint of heart, not for beginners here. So if you are just getting into the fragrance scene or you don't know too much about fragrances and you want something more crowd pleasing, mass appealing, this definitely is not that. This is something that's strong. You, if you love fragrances, you're gonna love it. And if you, you know, if you love it and you're confident about it, other people will will get it and understand it. But if you're not, it it may be a little overwhelming. Um, I really like it a lot. And I think that it is uh, something that anyone that really likes fragrances should have in their collection. Um, you know, my thoughts are it's definitely um, not your average fragrance. Like I had mentioned, the tobacco, the smokiness, the cloves are really intricate. It's 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 great. Um, you know, I'm, I want to spray some on me too, so I can talk a little bit more about it. I you know initially, you just get that smoke ashiness. It's almost like it. You can like almost taste what it smells like, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? And it. It's uh, very strong, and um, I would say, you know, you're, after your six hours of wearing it, it'll sit closer to the skin, and it'll kind of tone down, but then it just changes into a whole other type of, you know, then it's where I thought the sandalwood note came in, even though that's not listed, I still kind of picked it up, but that could be the cedar, um, and the, uh, you know, the tobacco as well that's in there too. It, it's a really cool fragrance. I really enjoy it. Definitely, 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 definitely like a midday to evening fragrance, definitely, in terms of formal casual, I would say a formal one, more semi-formal to formal. You're not gonna wanna wear this to work because it just could be overwhelming. Um, if you're hanging around your house and you wanna wear it casually, go ahead, wear whatever you want, whenever you want, as I always say, but I think this could definitely be more of a, of a formal fragrance um, because it's strong, it's bold, it's gonna make a statement, and you know, people are gonna recognize it, and they're gonna pin that to you, and that'll become you know, something that of a signature scent or a go-to scent when you go out, and I really like that. And for the cost, you, you can't beat it, and I just think it's cool if someone's like, you know, like I, like I said in my review about Animal for Men, you know, hey, what's that scent? You know, completely different seasons, but if someone asked you what it was, and you're like, it's Giacomo de Giacomo, they're gonna be like, excuse me? You know what I mean? Like, they're not gonna know, you know, what, what that one is, and I really like it, it's unique, and I don't think it gets enough attention as a lot of the fragrances that I review are ones that I'll pull out of nowhere. Some people know them and if you're into fragrances, it may, may seem pretty common, but you know, I would say your average person is not gonna you know, understand, know, or maybe even appreciate this, but this is really, really good and I cannot wait to start wearing this a lot in the colder um, seasons that are you know, coming up soon. You know, so let's take a look at my overall rating for this fragrance. Presentation is a little simple. You know, what, what its savior is, is that little flip there, like a Zippo lighter. And I think that comes into play with its scent of tobacco and smokiness. And maybe that's what they were going for. I don't know that. I can't confirm that. That's just my kind of uh, take on it, that it's supposed to look like a Zippo lighter. So presentations, everything else is kind of basic, black box, silver lettering. You know, I've seen, there, seen that before. So maybe we'll give it a seven out of 10. Performance is a 10 out of 10, no questions asked. This thing is a beast. Beast Mode, Monster, um, excellent quality, and the smell is awesome. I'll give the smell a nine out of 10 because of how unique it is. Um, I'm sure there's some niche, you know, maybe more some of the Tom Ford private blends out there that may, you know, go heavier in certain aspects, but I've never smelled anything like this one before, and I thought it was really cool, and for the price, you can't beat it. So I'm overall, I'm gonna give this an eight and a half out of 10. You know, it falls short on the presentation, and I'm big on that, but other than that, the you know, what really matters is, what anyone may agree is what's inside here too. So I really, really enjoy it. If you guys have any experience with the House of Giacomo, I know they have a, a, a Giacomo and they have Giacomo de Giacomo. I don't really, and then they have a Giacomo uh, Rouge, I think like a red one. I haven't tried that one, I haven't got my hands on it. I don't know if I ever will, um, if I find it, but if any of you guys have any experience with this house, please comment, share, like, let me know what your thoughts are, let me know how the review was. Um, you know, let me know if you know anything similar to this fragrance and please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone that watches my videos. Um, you guys have a great weekend. Thanks so much.